G'day Scribblers, welcome back to Painting with Riffsley. So, going to paint another mountain scene without snow. Can you see that okay? Can you see the sketch on there? I've got a sketch on there. I've just slightly sketched in the outline of the mountain, the clouds, the pathway down here. I've kind of made some marks where the, the rocks go, just slightly, just as a guide, so everything's in the right place. Well, let's get it going. Mount Kosciuszko was named after Thaddeus Kosciuszko, and we spelled it wrong for a long, long time. So the spelling's changed now. General Kosciuszko was a great Polish patriot that fought for freedom for both Poland and America. We've been calling it Mount Kosciuszko for a while. It'd be quite a strange to give it a new name, but they have been pushing to give it an indigenous Australian name. I don't know how they're going to go with that but those Polish pronunciations and the history of it can be a little bit complicated. Yeah, well, let me, tell me, leave a comment and tell me what you think. Should we change the name, Mount Kosciuszko, or should we stick to the name of a Polish explorer that didn't have much to do with it? It's named by Paul Strzelewski in 1840 after one of his heroes. Anyway, it's Mount Kosciuszko to me, always will be. Maybe the next generation will call it something else. Mount Burgon, maybe after the Burgon moth. Well, I've blocked it all in there. It's a rather thin cover, but it's all in. So I just need to start building it up a little bit, putting in the details, making it look a bit closer to what it looked like. Mount Kosciuszko is sometimes included in the Seven Summits Mountaineering Challenge where the climbers climb or summit the tallest mountain on every continent. Mount Pankajaya in Indonesia is actually taller. So a lot of people will climb that mountain and Kosciuszko so they climb eight peaks just to make sure they've climbed everything to cover all bases. I think uh, I'd probably fall off if I had to climb anything steeper than a walking path on Mount Kosciuszko so I won't be climbing any other mountain. I might not even get to climb Mount Kosciuszko. Seems pretty hard to me. Long walk. Basics blocked in. I really need to start to put a few little details in some of the drawing back into the picture. Some of the lines so you can see in here it's just all very plain. There's a lot of fine lines in there denoting all the tree out of trees, all the rocks and uh, it'll take a while. This is the hardest part, but you don't want to get bogged down too soon with the detail. There's still a lot of basic work to do to it. But I feel I need to start putting a little bit of the detail in there. I've got a little brush here. I should maybe do it with the... Well, I've gone in, I've put a little bit of the detail in some of the grass things with a bigger brush. But I feel like I need to go in with a smaller brush. Maybe I should make it on lighter. We'll see how we go. All right, let's get into it. I'll give you a list of the highest mountains, starting with uh, Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa. And in Europe, Mount Elbrus. North America is Mount Denali. South America is Mount Okunkagua. And in Asia, Mount Everest. 
everyone's favourite. In Antarctica, Mount Vincent Massif. Australia, Mount Kosciuszko. And in Oceania, or uh, Mount Jaya Peak. And that's it. That should be eight. Well, I'm getting there pretty slowly. Uh, it's looking a bit spotty, so I've got to put some more finer bits of grass and plants in there. Uh, up the back here, you can't really see the grass at all. It's kind of just streaks, you know, showing perspective. Uh, you can see some plants down here. You can see every leaf type of thing. But of course I don't do every leaf, but I'll try and uh, make a hint in the leaves, you know, suggest it so you can see them. Uh, it's going okay though. Let's get back to it. are looking different, a bit darker. I like this cloud. But it's time to sit back and have a look and then decide I want to change and what to keep. I think it's still a long way to go and I'll look on it tomorrow. Don't touch the canvas. Got a fair bit of detail in there now. It's a lot of grass, there's some rocks, there's some distance, and I've brought some bright colours into it. So I'm sure it looks a lot different from last time we stopped and had a look. I'm going to stop again, I'm going to have a little look at it, and then we'll come in for one last hurrah, see if we can finish it off. <laughs> 